Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman and we're checking out the RCA Cambio today. This is a device sold exclusively through Target stores here in the United States for about $200. Uh, this is a detachable, so you can pull the screen off here and get yourself a tablet, or of course you can attach it to here and use it uh, the way you would use a laptop. You also have some other modes where you can flip the screen around here and kind of use it in a special display mode as well, so you can uh, use it as a media player or even go into a tent mode with it also. So it's got some flexibility as to how you can configure it. Uh, nothing too fancy on the latching mechanism here either, so it's not a magnet or anything. It just kind of uh, slides in there, but it stays put, so the build quality over overall for a uh, inexpensive department store computer actually feels uh, pretty good compared to many of the others we have looked at uh, over the last couple of months. Now this one is equipped like all the others are with an Atom Bay Trail processor, uh, two gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of storage, about 21 gigabytes free for uh, software installation on here. There is a card slot so you can augment some of that storage if you wish to do that, but uh, you know, not a lot of processor power, not a lot of RAM, and not a lot of storage, but uh, good basic transportation and again in line with uh, what we've seen in other other uh, areas of this market space and we have an 11 inch screen like all the other ones too uh, 1366 by 768 this is a TN panel not an IPS uh, but the viewing angles on it are pretty good actually it's not too bad uh, on the viewing angle side uh, the display quality is okay it's not going to be as good as more expensive tablets are but uh, it's good enough given the price point especially if you're looking for something cheap and detachable uh, the display is certainly passable compared to what we've seen uh, in other places I do like the keyboard quite a bit uh, nice large keys nicely spaced apart so very nice to type on uh, really nice travel on them too they do feel a little uh, cheap and thin but uh, it really isn't bad to type on with some real again the travel time here the distance the key goes down when you push it uh, is really nice and among the nicest I've seen on uh, department store tablets for sure there is a passable trackpad on here it isn't too bad uh, the one thing that was interesting about it is that if you click right in the middle nothing happens because there's a divider line here between uh, the left click and the right click so if you click on this side you get the left click on this side of course you get the right click but if you hit it too far in the middle uh, you kind of hit the divider between those two clicks and nothing happens there so you can't do a, a two finger click but you can do a two finger scroll so you do have uh, that option available to you so a decent trackpad again for the price I am uh, not complaining about that at all uh, what I do like too is that they have a full size USB port on the side here so you can plug in a full size USB keyboard or hub if you have those things laying around uh, you also have an HDMI connector here too so you can plug it into an external display and kind of use it as a desktop uh, what I don't like though are some of the button placements so there is a, a Windows button here for pulling up your start menu uh, but I'm finding I'm hitting that by accident too often when I'm in tablet mode it would have liked it to have been maybe up here or something like it is on many other uh, devices so that's a one one little gotcha there uh, the little uh, power standby switch is right here also so you might hit that one by accident occasionally uh, you also have a headphone microphone jack here an OTG port so this is a micro USB connector but you can plug in one of those adapters that you can get for two or three bucks on Amazon or somewhere else uh, and be able to plug in an additional USB device on top of what you might plug into there so you've got a lot of USB connectivity options I uh, got that HDMI port that we talked about uh, there's also a micro SD card slot here so you can plug in a card uh, to augment its onboard storage which can be pretty helpful too so you can expand your storage uh, by popping in an SD card it might be a little bit slower than the storage you will get uh, out of the internal drive on it but you do have that available to you if you want to store media now the one thing that really got me though speaking of buttons is this one this is the reset button now this doesn't you know erase the tablet but it does actually reset the tablet when you push it now it is recessed quite a bit but uh, you can push it fairly easily so I was just kind of odd that they didn't go with one of those little paper clip buttons versus this but uh, you might find yourself hitting that by accident from time to time so just uh, be careful uh, about pushing that button there it won't delete anything but you certainly don't want to you know reset your tablet in the middle of downloading something or installing software or something like that and that will uh, just hit the reset button essentially so kind of an odd button choice there uh, there's a camera on the back in the front nothing to be excited about but you can uh, take some some decent pictures I guess but it's not really uh, going to do well as a uh, photographing device and you've got a mono speaker over here so don't expect great image quality don't expect good sound quality but again for $200 it is certainly usable so let's take a look now and see how it performs all right let's take a look at my YouTube channel real quick and see how fast it renders up things on screen both HTML and video so here we go our
uh, screen is loading up right now. This feels about the same as other Bay Trail powered devices. So uh, the videos come up relatively quickly and things are rendering in uh, pretty quick on screen here too. So it feels about where I'd expect it to feel. Uh, decent browsing experience for sure. And uh, we'll take a look now also at a 1080p 60 video here. So uh, we'll get a feel for some higher end video quality and it feels like it's running pretty nicely actually. No drop frames here, a uh, very smooth playback. We can go full screen on this too and just see how that uh, performs there. So these Atom Bay Trail chips, even though they're not the most powerful things in the world, uh, really do web browsing and video playback quite nicely. As you can see here, uh, we're not having any, any lag at all and it really is a, a decent experience overall. And on the Octane benchmark test, we got a score of 6,476. So it really puts it in line with what we've seen with other Bay Trail devices, including the more expensive HP Pavilion X2. So you're going to get good performance out of this thing, again, in line with other computers running the same chips. You're also going to see very similar performance with uh, word processing also and other kinds of office tasks. So we have our uh, Microsoft Word here running with our newsletter template. Uh, we can do all the things we've done on other PCs and it will uh, perform pretty much as well as those do. Sometimes it's a little bit harder to navigate with this less expensive trackpad on here, but you get the idea. Uh, it is able to do a lot of the functions that we've seen on uh, other uh, computers just as well, and it's great for office tasks and all the basics that you might throw at it. Now, tablets like this are not gaming powerhouses, but they can run some games pretty decently, like Minecraft here. This is the original version of Minecraft, not the Windows 10 version. We have a little plugin called Optifine on here to improve its performance, but we're getting around 30 frames per second or so, give or take, uh, which is good. And again, in line with what we've seen on other devices like this. And on the 3D Mark CloudGate test, we get a score of 1,145. And this is a good test to see uh, how it might stack up with more modern games. And the answer to that question is not very well, uh, but no machine at this price point with the chips that are in here are going to perform very well with modern games. So you're gonna be able to do things like Minecraft here. That's gonna work just fine, but uh, other stuff like Grand Theft Auto and Fallout and everything else that's hot out there right now is not going to run on here very well at all. In fact, you're probably not gonna be able to fit those games on here either because you don't have a lot of onboard storage to support those games either. But uh, you can do things like stream games from other devices in the home. I've got a video uh, linked above that'll give you a few examples of that. So there are some things that these things can do uh, that might surprise you, but just don't have high expectations for that going in. Uh, but one thing I was pleased to see is that the warranty on this is a year versus 90 days uh, that I've seen on a lot of other department store tablets at around this price point. So that is a good thing that uh, they are willing to stand behind the product for more than just 90 days. Uh, so if you do have a problem, you know, maybe a couple months into it, uh, there will be some recourse that you can take to get uh, the product uh, repaired. And it is the RCA brand name. So I think there is some uh, brand equity there also. So I think it's probably a safe bet uh, if you were to buy it from there. Usually Target's also pretty good about uh, customer service too. So that is the $200 Cambio from RCA, a detachable for about 200 bucks. And it actually feels pretty nice. It doesn't feel you know, like an expensive computer, but it does feel better than many of the other uh, department store brands I have looked at recently. So that is a good thing. It's about 2.8 pounds overall, so a little on the heavy side, but uh, when you do pull the screen off, you get about half the weight shed. So you're looking at about a pound or so uh, with just the screen and about the same with the keyboard dock separately. So not too heavy to carry around in tablet mode, a pretty decent device for the price and performs about where you'd expect a $200 PC to perform with a decent warranty as compared to its competition. This is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the generosity of my Patreon supporters. If you find the channel helpful, you too can contribute for as little as a dollar a month. Visit lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more.